Hey guys, this week on the Awesome Cast, we talk about Google Glass, we talk about 3D printing vending machines, uh, the five year app store anniversary, and a little bit of hamburgers in our Twitter. I'll tell you why. Awesome Cast. This edition of Awesome Cast is brought to you by PittsburghOnVideo.org. Check out the best videos from Pittsburgh all in one place. PittsburghOnVideo.org. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. I'm getting awesome. You're getting awesome. We're getting awesome. Yeah, that's what I said now. I'm getting awesome. You're getting awesome. We're getting awesome. Yeah, that's what I said. Hey, guys. It's the Awesome Cast. We're back again. It's episode 157 coming at you live from the studio in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania here on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, it's 7 p.m. Eastern Time Tuesday, as it usually is. I'm Mike Sorg. I'm pre-glass. Get used to this glassless face, which is funny because I have glasses. Right. Actually, nobody will notice anything except that I'll have sunglasses. You have sunglasses because they have little sunglass things, and I'm kind of, kind of, kind of dig that because then I can have sunglasses over my glasses. I mean, I can drive with them and stuff. And Does it hide the thing on the side? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, so, uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. <laughs> with me, uh, back in the studio is Chachi Anthony Was- Wa- Wasker. Wow. Walker <laughs> of at Chachi says on the Twitter's insert coin to begin dot com it pro. Hey! Playing the IT I, I too am really excited about you getting Google Glass. Yeah, because you're, I'm going to let you borrow it. Right, I know. <laughs> I, I, I'm really excited about it. I, I want to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> With glass on your face. Right. Awesome. And joining us, no, he's not in Ohio, but he's representing. He's across town here. Mike Pound of the Beaver County Times, at BCT Mike Pound on the Twitters. UncleCrappy.com is his blog. He's the man of the media, awesome. the man of the newspaper. And the internets. Uh, more and more of the internets these days. Although I spent a lot of time doing sort of everything today, which we will we will talk about. But the deeply immersed in, in print and video and audio and all, all that other fun stuff. Awesome. Well, uh, speaking of, uh, of Ohio, and it's not really tech related, but huh. uh, I, I, because uh, Mike is a fellow uh, Browns fan living in yes. Pittsburgh. Yep. Um, yes. Well, I went home to see the family this weekend, mm-hmm. and. Uh, I wore a pirate's hat. Uh oh. Okay. Which extremely upset my father. Oh no. Oh. Like my oh. father is anti everything sports Pittsburgh. Everything. And he's like, I'm hoping that's just a mistake. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> Well, it, it's I like my city. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've I've had those. Uh, the hockey was easy because yeah. uh, for a long time there was no. I mean, there was a, there was minor league hockey in Columbus, but but there's nothing in Ohio. So you know, uh, being a Penn, uh, Penn's fan is all right. And as I explained to my father several years ago, when I, the same thing happened, I had a Pirates hat or T-shirt on when I came home, and he's like, "What? What is? What is that? You're not an Indians fan anymore?" I'm like, "No, no, the Indians always come first, but um, it's it's uh, d- uh, hating the Pirates is sort of like kicking puppies. You know, it's just it's just sort of mean." Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, uh, and and now you know it, it may actually turn out to to bring dividends. Um, we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll see what happens second half of the summer. But but yeah, I got I got no problem with them. Yeah, awesome. it, it was it was just funny because I, I don't know. I I mean, there's it, I, to say there's no uh, rhyme or reason behind which hat I wear each day is wrong because mm-hmm. I I have my hats neatly t- uh, stacked in a pyramid. Um, on top of my uh, video game uh, cabinet. Mm-hmm. And so each day, uh, if I'm wearing a hat, I wake up, I grab whichever hat's on top, and that's what I wear. And then when they're all gone, I restack and start over. Oh, okay. I got but, you. But, uh, yeah, it, so, I mean, I, the pirate hat just happened to be next in the pile. Met your cycle. Yeah. So. Well, this is the awesome <laughs> cast where we talk about awesome things, which sometimes that includes baseball caps, I guess. Fashion. Usually, fashion, fashion usually technology. But yeah, we got maybe a little bit of fashion. I mean, all this wearable computing, right? Um, <laughs> uh, it, it, it was kind of funny. Uh, everybody on Mac Break today had their Fitbits on. Uh, Missy got hers back, and, uh, and there's been a lot of kind of comparing. Every time she's with your 
girlfriend Chachi. Yeah. They, 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 they're like, oh, how's your flower doing on your Fitbit? Oh, how's your doing? Yeah. yeah so, I mean, that, but we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, but, of course, this is the Awesome Cast. We're over at, uh, no, wait, yeah, awesomecast.com, more or less, sorgatronmedia.com for all your shows. Uh, I'm trying to remember if that one worked. Uh, contact <laughs> at awesomecast.com if you want to email us with any comments or suggestions for the show. We're on Google+. Plus. We're on Facebook. And if I click the button, you're going to see that we're also on Twitter as well, at AwesomeCast. Again, you can kind of uh, let us know what you think's awesome during the week. We like to uh, bring those out on the show as well. Um, and uh, any other comments and stuff we talked about during the show, and sometimes we stick a lot of stories in that stream as well, uh, that we're thinking about uh, talking about on the show uh, coming up in the week. And uh, like I said, every Tuesday you can join us live at uh, live.sorgatronmedia.com about 7 p.m. Eastern time uh, uh, and, and, and join the awesome with us and, and uh, let us know your awesome things in the chat room and everything like that. Uh, so let's get right with it with your awesome things of the week. Shachi, I know you got one. You said it's a little older? Yeah, it, it's... Uh, it's about a month old. Okay. Um, but... It, Surprisingly, uh, this area has been coming up a lot in my my Feedly feed mm -hmm. um, because it seems as if the number one thing people like to do with three D printing mm -hmm. is Make print weapons. You no, know, is print out uh, video game objects. Like that seems to be one of the most popular things you can do with a three D printer. Okay. Like uh, there, there's a site where you can buy the entire collection of items that you get in the original Legend of Zelda game. Um, and then, uh, recently, what led me to uh, do a search for 3D printing stories, um, someone printed out all of the characters but two from uh, Final Fantasy VII. And I'm like, is this all that 3D printing is used for now? Just video game <laughs> stuff? And, and I stumbled across a story from, uh, it is originally on the International Business Times website. Okay. Um, but UC Berkeley has created what they call the Dream Box. Um, essentially, it is a 3D printing vending machine. Oh, nice. Um, three, three students were getting a little irritated because uh, they have 3D printers that the students can use at Berkeley. But the problem is there's like a month of waiting for, on a waiting list to get access to the printers. Mm -hmm. So they built this machine, and um, it's uh, a, a normal a normal vet, vending machine. And you, what you do is you you send it your link, and it'll yeah it's over there. It'll print it out, and uh, it'll email you a code when it's done that you put in on the machine, and it unlocks a door. For you to retrieve your print. That's awesome. Um, and, and it said that uh, the the prints are typically fifteen dollars or less. Mm -hmm. um, there is a size limit on. I'm trying to. Where's that? It, there, there is a <clears throat> a size limit on the the printings, um, just because it's a, a vending machine. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, they said that it, it's only a 24-hour wait. And the only reason it's a 24-hour wait is because of the amount of people that use it. Wow, wow that's pretty cool. So, and, and I mean, um, yeah, it, it's small objects. Uh, it says nothing larger than a uh, loaf of bread. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, I, I mean, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want one. Access I want access. Yeah, I want access to one because I mean, for fifteen dollars, you can get an object about the size of a loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. uh, the only downside to it is you have to uh, design the image yourself. Yeah. Or oh, okay. find or find a uh, 3D version of the image that you want. Well, the whole idea is they probably have people there at well, UC Berkeley. You said yeah, uh, with like engineering degrees or CAD or you know 3D or whatever. And uh, you know this is for them to, right. to realize you know the stuff they're trying to build, which is really cool. Because I mean I you know uh, I know plenty of people that do CAD and stuff and can make things like this, but that gets sent off to a manufacturer now. I, I mean that's what we're seeing with Kickstarter. Like, look, we made this, we know it works because we went to a 3D printer, which is a lot cheaper than. The, other ways we would have had to do this so here's our prototype you know 
uh, it's kind of made it accessible. I think it's kind of funny you were talking about the access to the printers and how there's a waiting list for it. Mm. That kind of reminds me of like any time you read an old book about you know Bill Gates or Steve Jobs or anybody else from that era that came out through you know that that were kind of like the first in in. Uh, in uh, computing, it was the whole thing was getting access to those computers, those right. punch cards or whatever computers they had access to at the time. And I think that that kind of shows like that this is the next kind of generation of that kind of revolutionary technology. You know, uh, you're seeing the exact same thing happen, but that but we're able to iterate something cool like this vending machine to to be able to handle that kind of situation. Uh, the only down downfall I see of uh this vending machine mm-hmm. is that uh unless you make it huge then you have to have someone go and pick up prints mm-hmm. that aren't picked up. Yeah. Because yeah. I, if it, you can only have so many drawers I'm sure this is something that's being serviced, yeah. right? You know. You can only have so many drawers on the machine. So I have a feeling if you're dedicated enough to make something in 3D to send off to this printer that's going to cost you about 25 bucks, you're probably going to be prompt about $15. it. $15. 15 Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, but still, I think you're going to that you're going to be on top of that, you know. Especially when you're you're doing that versus like a you know how how was the waiting period on the on the other option? A month. A month waiting yeah. period. Yeah, I, I don't think you're going to have to worry too much about that. It's not like saying your print job, you know, down to. Uh, down to down to printing and and you know forgetting about a stack of papers you know and also so. uh i missed this before it, there's not uh many restrictions on it mm-hmm. uh but <laughs> it, it says that the terms uh strictly prohibit uh printing firearms uh, that uh, and sense. that's it's kind it, of a debate right yes. now about being and, able to do that and that someone it's tried probably. to print the uh the 3d printed gun yeah. However, the the printer inside couldn't handle the complex design, and it failed anyhow. Okay. Um, so it's still kind of simpler stuff. If you're doing something a little more complex, you're still going to have to go to uh, presumably that's going to be a bigger, more powerful, right? 3D printer that they they also have on hand. But but for but little I, stuff, I mean, this way you're not clogging up that that waiting list with little things that can be taken care of with yeah. this machine. Uh, so. It says it costs about ten grand and only took uh, five weeks to build. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. So I mean. I, at a ten grand uh, <laughs> manufacturing cost, it's not exactly cost efficient yet. <laughs> but still, still I, I, I think that's relative because that's still better than other ma- other means. Well, it it, it barely barely. <laughs> if you if it costs you ten thousand dollars to make a three D printer vending machine then you have to uh, be very, very selective of where you're going to put it. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. if not, yeah, you yeah. just blew 10 grand. Yeah, this is not, <laughs> this is not getting put, like, you know, in the, in the, you know, in the parking garage, you know. I wish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, you know, it, it could be in the future. So. But uh, it, it's, 3D printing is the type of thing, and the only thing that would stop me from doing it is, uh, it, it, 3D printing is probably the only thing that I would sign up for the tech shop. Yeah. And yeah. It, which is what uh, Rob told us about that, that in, they have these in town and they have some other franchises think, right. around the country where you get like laser cutters, 3, 3D printers, yeah. water saws. If you're a builder, this is like the coolest place for you can have a subscription to. But it, the only thing that would stop that stops me from doing that is the fact that I would have to create or have someone create uh, 3D images for me because yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that is not something I'm capable of. Man, doing. I'm telling you, man. I, I'm thinking like eventually we're just going to be able to get plans off the internet. Go print them off, you know. You know, I mean, as it is right now, you get sent your uh, tickets to the concert and you print them out, right? Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I think that you're going to f- see that with other kinds of objects. I think, uh, you know, maybe ten year, five, ten years down the line, when this thing becomes more prevalent, uh, it's going to be like, all right, you know, replace here, here, here. Uh, you paid us this for the rights to make your own patented part for your car. You know, I, I think that's where the really cool thing's going to be with that. The, the um, whole cottage industry, uh, people who can make those plants, make those designs. Um, exactly. And then make them available to others. That That's that's going to be a big deal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, have you been coming around, uh, along with a lot of uh, 3D stories, 3D printer stories yourself there, Mike? I haven't. And, and the concept is, I'm, I'm, it's just something that my brain is still struggling to process. You know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm 46 year old. 
46 years old, and I, I, I sometimes this whole internet thing is still baffling. I know we can make things in 3D now, right? I mean, this is kind of like you know, I, it, it is such a cool thing. Um, and, and I would I would love the the opportunity uh, to, to play with this a little bit. Um, and, and especially you know, we have the opportunity to do it locally. Um, at, at some point, I'm, I'm that's uh, that's something that I'm gonna gonna work on for. Uh, it'll, it'll be for work, but it'll also be for pleasure a little bit, I imagine. <laughs> oh, man, that's amazing. Uh, what's that? I, I, I was listening to you guys, um, but I, I had stumbled upon an article, and this has nothing to do with tech, but apparently one day a year, or no, I'm sorry, two days a year, the sun sets perfectly along uh, 42nd, uh, 42nd Street in Manhattan. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that would that would make sense. It's awesome. Sorry, I, it was mind blowing. Mike, what's your awesome thing of the yeah, week? Yeah, two days, two days, two days a year. It'll sunset. The sun will set and rise. Does it say what days? Uh, this I mean, year, do we need to go. This year's uh, July twelfth and thirteenth. Oh, I'm missing so. it by a day. Ah, actually, wait a minute. I'll, wait, wait. I, I'm trying to think if my bus is going to leave before that sunrise on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what's your awesome thing of the week? I, I um, as as uh, newspapers, uh, your intern should pay attention to this. Uh, as newspapers try to uh, uh, d- to figure out ways to take advantage of new technologies, and and, and this is this is certainly not a, a new thing, but it was new for us today. Um, we we had an opportunity to give something a try, and um, I, I think they had given it an attempt once before, and it did not go so well. But uh, mm-hmm. we thought we'd give it a shot today. Uh, it, Non-Pittsburgh folks aren't going to know the backstory about this. There was a, a homicide in one of the towns that my newspaper covered. Um, it was being handled by the Allegheny County Police. They were having a news conference at 3 o'clock. Uh, so we, um, a bunch of us, like my videographer, uh, a photographer, and me headed down there. And as we were packing up to go, we thought, well, you know, we've got this Ustream application on this thing right here. Uh, that lets you do live broadcasts. Uh, let's give it a shot. And, that, and that's an um, iPhone you held up, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's uh, my my work issued iPhone 4s. Um, plunked it in a um, uh, plunked it in a, a in a tripod with, with a little uh, phone smartphone holder widget thing. Um, and to the surprise of everyone, it worked. We were even you know in a. In, in, well, well inside this building, still got a strong enough signal. Uh, no, no, no Wi-Fi necessary. Um, the, the folks back in the office uh, did the website tinkering necessary to, to get this going. Um, and and this is this is this is such a, a dumb thing, um, especially to to talk about on a on a, a tech podcast. But but for us, this is a a huge huge step um, that that we can do. I'm constantly amazed by the stuff that, that we can do when we try and, and how uh, how actually easy it can be and how effective it can be. Um, the, the tools that are out there, I know we're, we're uh, being featured on Justin TV, I guess. Um, and I'm and I'm plugging Ustream, but I, I it's it's not something that's necessarily specific to, to one platform or another. Um, the idea here is uh, that that we can that we can do this stuff mm-hmm. um, and and actually do it pretty easily and. Therefore, improve what we can offer the folks uh, who uh, you know read our paper, read our website, um, and, and, and do some things that, that maybe they don't expect from us. Um, so, Ustream, iPhone live broadcasting, my <laughs> awesome thing of the week. And, and, and it's not just, and like I said, it's not just, it, you know, we, we, yeah, we're on Justin TV, and, and I got to check, mm-hmm. we were uh, actually broadcasting on, on Ustream as well, and we have mm-hmm. no kind of preference one way or another except for like just some some feature things you know mm-hmm. um so but uh but this idea i you know to share a similar experience uh we've been kind of working with hangout and trying to get a work at one of my clients to get like some of the uh discussions they have they have these ed- ed- educational discussions they have with the students that come in um yeah. we have these interviews with like some other people that are doing really cool holistic things like from across the city or even further out um and uh we had a, a pretty 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 good day of this uh, Monday. 
Uh, mm -hmm. and, and I like this idea that it's uh, becoming more and more accessible, you know, and, and I think this is a bigger story to talk about on a show like this than I think you're you're letting on there because it is accessible. It is just talk yeah. it, we, this is kind of something we've talked about one, two years ago, but now it, 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 it but it's always been the early adopters. You mm -hmm. know, now it feels like, you know, yeah, I can just pick something up and put a six second video out, a 15 second video out, yep. stream live from my phone with a bunch of friends while they're watching wrestling just because like, I'm late getting out from uh, the grocery store or something, you know? I'm <laughs> amazed. And, and this happens often, right? Uh, and I'm amazed. It's just like two clicks and here we go, right? At least for us that live in the city with good bandwidth and everything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, and, 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 and how was the quality of, of what you had there? Uh, the, the video looked great. Uh, I've gone back and, and uh, you know, to say, I saved the clip. Um, sound is a little quiet. That's that's something we can we can work on. But but if, if you were if you were at our site or at my, um, that would sort of be an unfortunate thing. We didn't set up an account for the newspaper, so I'm we're, we're broadcasting this very serious uh, news conference about a homicide on crappy cam. <laughs> um, but 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 if you're there, you know, and, and paying attention, you can hear it. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and, and just the, the knowledge that we had the ability to do this uh, yeah. is, uh, you, you know, I, I shouldn't walk out of a news conference like that smiling, but I was um, because what we were able to accomplish. We, we've actually, we've used Hangouts once or twice as well. Um, so you remember the uh, the uh, predicted uh, doomsday stuff back December 21st or whatever that was. <laughs> and a former colleague uh, who works for a newspaper in New Zealand, which is kind of the first major country that's on the other side of the um, of the international dateline. So we did a hangout with her um, and, and did that live, and, and I, I, I hacked that up and made a video out of it uh, awesome. to post later in the day. That's so awesome. we were live with her while midnight while it, while it became midnight. Um, on Doomsday in New Zealand, and she was able to look around her apartment and say, "No, nope, nothing happened. We're, I think we're going to be fine." <laughs> nice. Um, so we we can do we can do fun stuff like that too. But it's it's it is so awesome to have these these tools available um, and relatively easy to work with. And and you know you, you still have to figure out how how stuff is going to play with the with your uh, content management system that you have to work with. But for the most part, that's that hasn't been hard. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and as we found today, occasionally this this stuff not only works but works well. Yeah, I, I think it's the it is the future. And um, and actually, if I can uh, actually spin that off, it, it's not my it's not my awesome thing of the week. It is kind mm -hmm. of related to my awesome thing of the week. Uh, but we'll touch on this real quick just because it connects. Uh, but there was this week uh, what they are calling, let me see if I can grab the link here, uh, the first arrest caught on Google Glass. I saw that. And Mike, yeah, I think you're, you're somebody we definitely need to talk about, talk to you about this. Actually, I caught wind of this uh, on our carpool Mondays uh, when the other guy drives. We listen to a little bit of NPR and it actually came up on there. Uh, so here it is actually from the uh, All Things Considered website. Um, yeah, arrest caught on Google Glass, reignites privacy debate. So that was kind of the spinoff from there. Uh, but this guy, I presume this is the Jersey Shore or something, uh, but he, he was just kind of walking around, uh, uh, just walking around what looks like some kind of boardwalk uh, kind of situation and he happened across a commotion and if you pop later in this video and we can advertise Hulu Plus there you go guys uh, you see a guy getting arrested with no shirt on as the Jerseyites do uh, so <laughs> But of course, you know, then the article kind of spins a little more negative about, hey, there's a privacy debate and this and, 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 and a lot of uh, legislation is, is being discussed right now around something like this. Um, I mean, you know, you're talking about your, your experience, you know, carrying around a phone. Uh, one, mm -hmm. of the, one of the kind of the interesting thoughts with this, uh, talking to the guy was the idea that, you know, OK, you could take the picture. He's got this on his face. It's a lot of people. They're not going to notice this thing on his face. Right. Right. And we'll see how subtle it is when we Doesn't see it matter. in person. But still, but the idea that if there is a commotion, if there is something going on, your hands are free to protect yourself instead of putting the phone down uh, and, and maybe not getting something because you are trying to protect yourself or it's easier to see somebody holding up a phone that's recording versus this thing's just going on your face. Although I'm pretty sure there's a light that blinks whenever the video's going. But still, like the cops didn't notice or care. Uh, they're too involved with whatever's going on. If there's some something else going on, um, um, you know, that idea that you are a little more free to do that. It's a little easier to take in situations like this. Um, what do you about? What do you think about that, Mike? Uh, as far as the accessibility that way, I, uh, the, the the privacy stuff. People people gripe at us all the time. Whether 
and, and, I, and I don't know if that's going to change. People gripe about privacy stuff when you know when our photographers who are who are still carrying you know the uh, Nikon DS, DSLRs with lenses like this long, mm-hmm. um, they're not not exactly inconspicuous. Um, and you know they get griped at. I get griped at. Um, you know when I'm taking pictures with this, obviously a little less conspicuous. Um, I, I I think people have unreasonable expectations about privacy. Well, and um, in, 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 I'm not sure that the device matters that much. Okay. Um, it, 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 it's, it's true that it, it, something like Google Glass is going to be uh, much less conspicuous, but, um, you know, if you're in a public place, um, especially everyone, every, everyone has a device with them uh, that, that, it, that can shoot video at any time, can take pictures at any time, and can be, can be posted for public viewing uh, in front of an unlimited audience, um, and, and that can be done instantly. Um, yeah, I, I, people, people need to understand that, that, that this, this stuff has changed uh, and, the, and technology has changed what, um, uh, what, what is available out there now. And, and um, I don't know, I, I, stay in your house. <laughs> yeah. lock, lock yourself in the living room. Uh, I hope you, you know, go, go, go do your grocery shopping in the middle of the night and maybe no one will see you. Um, I, I'm, I, 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 my, my view about this is that it's, I, I try to be fairly realistic about it. And, and I expect, um, you know, when I am out in public, if I'm in events, if I'm doing something, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to be on just because of my work, I'm going to be on TV cameras. Uh, I can show up, um, in, in the newspaper, one of my, you know, one of my competitors that's, um, that was uh, two years ago at a news conference for uh, uh, the introduction of the first Pittsburgh Craft Beer Week. I have my picture was prominently displayed on the front page of the Post Gazette, which is one of my, my proudest moments in journalism. Um, <laughs> all this 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 stuff is out there, um, yeah. and and it's it's going to become easier and easier. And you know maybe I'll have uh, someday I'll have a watch. I can do that. Uh, Google Glass is certainly a whole different thing. Um, I'm 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 generally not too patient with with uh, people who gripe about privacy. Mm-hmm. Um, the the expectations that that uh, you know you're you're going to be able to sneak around in public uh, these days are, are unrealistic. Yep, Chachi, you got something to say? Um, well, first off, uh, we all know where I stand on the privacy uh, debate. Yeah, we, we definitely got into this a couple times. Um, but secondly, uh, everyone. Is, not everyone. The general public assumes that it's illegal for you to photograph or record them without their expressed permission. So but, not true. But, but exactly, that's not true. If you're in a public place, mm-hmm. I, like Mike said, you should fully be expecting someone to take your picture or record you, and there is mm-hmm. not a darn thing you can do about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I hate to say it, but uh, WPXI. Uh, probably two weeks ago, uh, spent a whole 20 minute news block doing a story on a girl who uh, got a Bluetooth webcam for her car that she hook okay. up, hooks up to her phone. And anytime she encounters a jackass driver, she starts recording and then posts a video on YouTube. Well, guess what? That's what they were doing oh, I, in Russia when that, that asteroid right, hit. You right. Know? Yeah. So I, I like that. Yeah. It, uh, and I, you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't even think she blurs anything out. No. Like I, I think all of the license plates and everything are in there. And there's and no reason. I mean, there, there's a reason to, but there's no expectation to, right? right. And there's no legal. No, like, no I can not take at a all. Picture, post on the internet, your license plate, your face, your whatever is out yep. there, and it's out there. You know, uh, our friend that does uh, Yins Can't Park, he's nice and and covers up everybody's license plate, takes the time to do that, but he doesn't mm-hmm. have to. He definitely doesn't have to. No, um, and, and that's that, that's my whole problem with uh, bars and everything, or the, the bars that are starting to uh, ban Google Glass. Mm-hmm. 
It's a public place. It's it's a misunderstanding. It's it's this is new. It, it's it's this cameras on your face. Uh, there was an interesting article, a uh, write up. Uh, uh, Gabe, I think it was from Penny Arcade, actually got some, um, which is really cool because he takes like video of him like drawing with it and everything. Uh, but he was talking about how like he entered his building and there's a daycare on the first floor, and there was like a, a nice lady down there. I think I think she's the person in charge of the daycare, and he found himself taking uh the glass and you know, just put it down around his neck because he found he felt and this is just his interpretation of, of of the situation he felt it's kind of rude to always have a camera pointed at other people uh but again that's that's kind of his personal feeling and expectation on that and i think that's where it's going to get interesting and, and and i know and one thing and i'm probably going to pick one up just so i have it in case any like situation comes up uh they actually have you can get little glass shields that would just cover up the camera so you can still have your functionality whatever but that lens that is the thing that freaks people out can get covered up and you don't have to worry about it um, or at least the, the expectation was hopefully changed a little bit. I know it's ridiculous. Well, no, and, and the thing yeah, is, it's, it, it's not. It's not ridiculous, and, and and that's that's a good distinction to make between someone who's you know uh, wants to be played, yeah, um, and, and understands that uh, it, at least initially having a little camera attached to your face might make people uncomfortable. Um, it, it's good to make that distinction between that and and what is legal and what is realistic to expect. Um, but that's that's a good point, and 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 it will be interesting. I, I can't wait to hear what you come across uh, later in the week yeah. when you when you're wearing that damn thing on your face. <laughs> and I don't like to stick out in a crowd, so I. I, I uh, oh man, I have absolutely no Chachi's problem like, sticking out in I'll a just crowd. I'm Chachi in those situations where I'm not sure oh, how this yeah. is going to go. Uh, but uh, but no, honestly, hey, to expect that people are going to wear this thing 24 seven is ridiculous. Well, I think it's the idea of it, though. I mean, well, I mean yes, I, the possibility is there that there's going to be one or two jackasses that wear it completely all I'm day, trying. every I'm day. I'm going to try. I mean, you don't it. have you don't have a real <laughs> job. Though. Oh no! I mean, well, I you do not. Podcast in my basement. You do, oh, don't hurts. do that out at all. <laughs> you do not have a, a nine to five like corporate job. No, no, but I am. So gonna, you I are free take it to my nine to five it's, Monday job. You are free. You're a freelancer. You are free to wear that. Yeah. All day long. Yeah. In my underwear. Exactly. <laughs> I I have a corporate job. Yeah. So to think that I'm going to wake up in the morning and I'm going to put on Google Glass and go to work mm -hmm. and wear it all day at work mm -hmm. is ridiculous. But isn't that what isn't that well, going to be the should. experiment though? Aren't, aren't, aren't isn't that one of the ideas is you're going to try that? I don't know if I can. Okay. Okay. Because of the nature of what I deal with. Exactly. I, exactly. I would. I would bet. I not. think. I think we'll let you do that after I get the shield. <laughs> right. Just to be yes. safe. Right. The the shield. The shield would be uh, helpful just because uh, the the content of what I deal with in my job I, isn't something that I can put out in the world. No. No. And, and and just because this thing's on your face doesn't mean that you're going to be broadcasting twenty four seven. You honestly can't because if you're filming for I think a half an hour, the battery's dead. Oh. So mm. uh, or some something like that. Um, so I mean that that kind of kills part of it right there. Uh, I mean there's other ways to do this with battery packs and whatnot, and that's one of the things I'm going to be experiencing. Yes, believe in the shield, believe in the privacy of shield. Um, but I so. was uh, honestly uh, when you let me put my grubby little fingers on it. Um, I was thinking Don't about doing my glass, man. I was thinking about doing a uh, a ride to work with Chachi. Okay. Like it, and because my bus ride is honestly only like 20 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I I was thinking about just doing the entire bus ride from when the bus gets there to when I get to work. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. I, I really think that'd be cool. All right. I, I want to talk a little bit about, more about Google Glass. Actually, it's going to be my awesome thing of the week. But before that, I want to touch base. Let's pop, pop it over to our friend DJ Lunchbox. He's been on the show before. Tell us a little bit about something else we do. Wrestling Mayhem Show. We'll be right back. Oh, man. Awesome cast. Those guys are fantastic. But what if you want to talk about wrestling? Well, we've got you covered. Right here on the Sorgatron Media Network, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It might just be the best show anywhere, ever. Go find out. SorgatronMedia.com 
All right, we're back and go check out uh, you know Wrestling Mayhem show and everything else over at SorgatronMedia.com, including this show if you found us through other means. Uh, so we were talking about glass before we went to that. Uh, uh, so let's talk about less scary uses for glass, or this could be scary depending on your point of view on it. Um, and this is a uh, more or less. I, I don't know if they have this completely going. Oh well, I guess they do have like kind of a demo uh, uh, kind of mark a makeup for this. Uh, but there was a. A Google Class demo, and a lot of these, you know, it's movie magic if they're if they're doing them the way uh, you're going to see this video is going to be. But basically, they have it set up so you can play a version of Battlefish or Battlefish Battleship uh, through Google Glass. And in this case, it's somebody at the park. It's somebody while they're shopping. Um, and, and apparently, it wasn't too hard for them to do. It actually does ride on uh, kind of the push messaging system that's already included in Glass. So it was a little bit of a kind of a hack around for them to do it. So uh, you go here, they're kind of getting into it. And I, I'm presuming, I, I haven't listened, checked this out with sound on uh, yet, but I'm presuming they're just kind of voice activating uh, uh, where their their segments go or, or where their I'm pieces gonna go. I'm going to fall and hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> Or you're going to sit there there's, and play Battleship while you're sitting at your desk, man. Well, it, that, there, and there's the single biggest danger in Google Glass. I'm, I'm going to run into run into stuff while I'm running around Target. And that's going to be post, the test, That post too. right like, there. Ow! I'm, I'm going to wonder, because I mean, you know, I, you know, when you go to your uh, when you go to your your craft store with your wife and everything, you know, I mean, isn't that the perfect time to be like, yep, yep, whatever, yep, there we go. You know, oh, she's, she's going to know. <laughs> well, I mean, she's gonna know. you're sitting there. <laughs> Here's my thing. All right, you're already wearing this thing on your face. Yes. Okay. Yes. So obviously, and, and you she- don't care about looking ridiculous. <laughs> All right, because I mean, let's face it. You're wearing a computer in your face. Yeah, you look ridiculous. Okay. All right, I'm I'm fully accepting this fact. I have no qualms with it. I can't wait to wear this thing home. Exactly. <laughs> Out to the small town America. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> but uh, so you're walking around and you're playing Battleship, which requires you to yell out things like B12. And then you yell, you sunk my battleship, exactly. like, on the bus. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, you're in a public place, uh, they sink something, and you're like, oh, come on, you can't sink my my two schooner. You can't sink my schooner. Chachi, Chachi, I know how you get when you're playing video games. You, 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 you voice things out, sometimes act out in response to the things going on in the game. I can just imagine when you're playing one of these games, walking down the street, yelling at people. You're going to be like those crazy people that walk by, uh, the bo- walk up and down Boulevard of the Allies yelling expletives. Except there's a reason for it. Like, this, is, this is the next step. All those guys that, walk, that talk too loudly on their Bluetooth headset and you have no idea what the hell is going on <laughs> until you finally see that little nub. This is the next step of that. Uh, leg kick TKO in the uh, uh, in the chat room says, to be fair, if you're on the bus, you're already thought of as the crazy person. There you go. So, Hey, we love our public transit. And then they say, uh, 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 they said, uh, I assume the South has no public transportation. <laughs> So it's called Glass Battle. I I, I can't wait. I, I can't even figure out. I'm not. I, I'm not sure. I'm what all this, in. I'm wondering. I, I'm like just kind of curious what this interface is going to be to go put apps on and everything like that. And am I side loading? I don't even have an Android device. How much time are you going to give me with this thing? Uh, well, it's the it's negotiable. <laughs> like a week? Can uh, we? I don't know. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, like a week I, I with this have thing? some time with it first. I we'll, 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 we'll talk about this. We'll no, about I'm, this. I'm excited. You're, yeah, I'm excited too. Like, I, I want it to be my week already. <laughs> yeah, like, we're, we're like, uh, we're actually, I'm coming back and uh, there's this kind of cooking presentation thing that I have to go film and I'm like man if it was if I had a couple more days with this I felt comfortable like I'd put it on their face right to, to get their side of the things I think that'd be amazing like I, I can't wait to test like the different uh, uh, POV kind of stuff we can do with filming uh, no, with seriously, just give thing. me a week with it we give you a week with it <laughs> just it has to come any back more and and, peace, and, and, any know. more than that you're not getting it back yeah yeah any it, less it, than it that it smell funny when it comes back right any less than that I don't think I, I'm getting a full effect okay okay so. exactly um I so thank uh wheels scooter you said what <laughs> in the chat room. Scooter. Um, I also upset them because I said that Big Brother is dumb. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of big on the Big Brother. Yeah, every there. just about everyone in the chat room yelled at me. 
Yeah, it's like it's like a cross on Mondays now between talking about the wrestling that's on most of our screens and Big Brother. So that's been interesting. Um, we got actually a Twitter submitted off some thing of the week. I definitely have to agree with. Ooh, is that thunder? Oh, here we go. Uh, it is the five-year anniversary of the App Store on iOS, and they're giving away a ton of free apps. Really? Uh, yeah, some good stuff. Some good stuff. Uh, I, I, it's one of those, like, I got the list and just downloaded everything I possibly could. Um, <laughs> so the first, and then they're doing, like, they're doing like uh, Xbox was doing last week, and they're doing, like, kind of a day-to-day thing. Infinity Blade 2, Tiny Wings, uh, Where's My Water? I was playing some Where's My Water today. It's more addicting than it sounds. It's actually a Disney mobile game. Um, Super the, um, the, uh, the version of that with the, um, with the uh, Perry the Platypus. Is, is outstanding. Is it? I got, I got yes. the gladiator, yes. or, uh, the alligator, I guess. Uh, so, how to cook everything? How to what? <laughs> um, uh, Super Brothers Swords and Sorcery EP, which I hear good things about. It wasn't that on the Humble Bundle or something? What? Uh, Super Brothers Swords and Sorcery EP. Yeah, I think so. Uh, um, Tractor DJ, which is like a DJ app that's twenty dollars originally. Um, Day One, which is a cool journaling app. There's another list of stuff that came out today, including uh, Dead Space for Dead Space and Peggle for both iPad and iPhone, and a bunch of other ones. I imagine there's going to be more uh, throughout the week, so go check those out. Um, five years of the App Store. Uh, uh, Crappy, were you there since day one? Uh, close, close. I, 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 I'm, uh, my my print journalism salary has always forced me to kind of be a, a, a late adopter. Mm-hmm. Um, but but from the moment I had one of these in my hand, yeah, um, yeah. In fact, you were you were one who turned me on early to uh, the, um, the 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 uh, EA games and the, and the frequent sales that they have. Mm-hmm. And um, you've, you've cost me a lot of money, years, actually. <laughs> but it's that 99 cents at a time that gets you, though, right? I, I, yeah, I know. To get, I know. like, Madden? Sure, right? I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm not huge <laughs> into football, but I'll play a couple games of Madden. That's uh-huh. worth a buck, right? Uh, yeah, it is, absolutely. And, and I, I, would, I would be absolutely fearful of going back through my, my, uh, my App Store receipts and seeing exactly how much money I've spent over uh, the last five years. It, it, it's <laughs> probably substantial. Exactly. I, I've been kind of, a, thanks to these guys on Let's Play, uh, anytime they're like, oh, it's a buck or it's two bucks, uh, it's a challenge of the week or something, I'm just like, oh, whatever. I've given up. You know, uh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, is my pay- so how's my PayPal doing? Okay, yeah, we're good. Um, it's, it's only it's a dollar. It's what's too the, easy. What's the big deal? And then and then it adds up. And as long as you're not <laughs> buying donuts or or whatever uh, freemium game thing, you know, that's where you stop me. Um, hey, a friend of ours ended up in a Wendy's ad of sorts. Did anybody, I saw did anybody that. else I see saw- this? <laughs> So, uh, Big Bob of uh, uh, Mikey and Big Bob Morning uh, Freak Show on KISS FM here locally in Pittsburgh. Um, you can check him out on iHeartRadio. I actually recommend that. It's a strange for radio. But he, there was something, uh, uh, this hashtag pretzel love songs, and, and he had one out that said, you're welcome. And they had this guy go through, and I found, an, I found another video just through something else. Uh, today, uh, watching them this week in YouTube seems some kind of similar. They're just like going through and singing uh, tweets about uh, about this pretzel burger that just came out, right? Uh, so here, let's see if we get a little sample of this. Hashtag bring it. Mouth hole. <laughs> well done, America. Yes, please, thank you. And that's Bob's right there. And they, and they actually do cut it off a little bit too, uh, because there was there's a little more to it. Uh, but that, that that's over. We have it linked over at the uh, Mikey and Bob's Freak Show page over there. Uh, you know, this kind of reminds me of when we had the uh, on-the-fly written uh, answers from uh, uh, the Old Spice guy, right? 
Uh, right. Like this really cool, like they took social media, they're doing something fun with it. I mean, I don't know if this is going to be a commercial you're actually going to see on TV, but it's something viral. I wonder, I wonder how many uh, hits they got at this point. Uh, and I guess, and they're inviting more people to, to hashtag some sayings, and they're going to they're going to sing more stuff with it. Uh, strangely, this has only two thousand six hundred twenty seven views. Uh, which has got to be for wow. production value alone, right? Uh, so it, it, goes, it goes a show. Uh, and this is volume one, so maybe it'll get bigger as it goes. Uh, but what do you think of this, uh, 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 Mike? I, I, I love uh, clever applications of, of a, a social in, in advertising. And mm-hmm. it's, it's so easy to do it badly. Yes. Um, but this one, this one's outstanding, and the and that Bob's in it, you know, <laughs> bonus points for that. Exactly, exactly. Chachi, what, what do you think of uh, uh, this new round of social media advertising? I love it. Yeah, I, I want my tweets sang out. Yeah, yeah, I want my tweets sung by some lounge singer. And I'm kind of. It's got which, my. What's attention. your most recent tweet? My most recent tweet. Can, can we sing something? Uh, let's see. <laughs> there you go. That you know. I, I think it's maybe. That's 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 a video show idea. You know? it, it was, uh, yeah. I responded to at Bobby F J Town and at Mayhem Show with maybe dot 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 dot. <laughs> on that, I don't know if you heard that on the mic, but the thunder's hitting pretty hard. We probably should wrap this show before we get wrapped like that one time. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Uncle Crappy Mike Town, the storm is gonna wrap. Us, you know, I didn't show this yet, uh, hmm. and uh, this might be our pick for our. Uh, uh, it'll have to be our pick for our, our show this week. Uh, but uh, there, there's your new Twitter and for the audio. What's going on there? Um, I had I had been dragged. I believe that's a Joanne Fabrics mm-hmm. in Robinson. Um, we were doing some, getting some stuff, and right there in the lobby are these giant big things of yarn, including that one that says one pound. And and uh, uh, Kelly said, "Oh, g- g- give me your phone. I got to take a picture of this." So <laughs> there we go. There you go. And uh, you're at UncleCrappy.com at BCT. Mike Pound is your officially official Twitter. Official, one of the officials. I yes. have several officials. And Something like that. I downloaded that DJ app just because you said it would cost $20. Normally. I know, right? You're like, well, okay. It's usually like 6 bucks for Infinity Blade. I, I was like holding off and getting the second one, but I'm like, download. Like, I have too no easy. Too easy. musical talent whatsoever, but I will pretend to be a G- DJ I for show yeah, you, for I need free. to show you this $2 one that's like chip music. <laughs> I was playing with it a little bit upstairs. Um, so, hey, Chachi, where are you at? What you do? I am at Chachi Says. I'm at InsertCoinToBegin.com. I play video games. I talk about video games. I send funny tweets. Not so funny tweets. Sometimes angry tweets. I, basically, I tweet. Well, you've I found assured out, me you're actually having a good time. Yes. I, I found out today, though, that I, uh, I tweet more than 42% of the users on Twitter. And which, the longest you've been away from Twitter is how long? 22 hours. 21 hours and 34 minutes, actually. And the thunder it hits on Oh, it is? Can you get your tweets right there? Yes. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> and I'm over at Sorgatron.com, MikeSorg.com, at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Uh, yeah, when I get to Glass, a lot of stuff's going to go on there and on my YouTubes and stuff. And or I guess my, I guess I'll end up more on my Google+, Plus, won't it? Uh, so mm-hmm. I, I, I think you can get all that from Sorgatron.com. Uh, but it'll be tweeted, too. Sure. Sure, because I know that's where most of you people are. Uh, I'm in 1200 Club, like uh, like like Norm Hewell's been a few weeks ago, and the thunder keeps hitting. I gotta go so we can save this thing. Uh, awesome Cast, contact at awesomecast.com, at awesomecast on Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook for all your conversing about awesome things with us. Uh, join us with live us. with live.sorgatronmedia dot com every Tuesday 7 p.m. Eastern time, so you can join us in the chat room and talk about awesome things live with us and pick us up on your itunes on your blip tv on your youtube please leave a comment rate us thumbs us up and share us with your friends that you can you think are going to be into awesome things uh from the steel city like this uh that's it uh thanks to our awesome chat room that's been going all night you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week